Shalom. I want to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Ha Raka Kodash. Double honors unto our elder apostles of Great Millstone, which taught us the truth. And Shalom to the elect. May you endure unto the end. Shalom. The 12 tribes of Israel are the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Judah, the so called Negroes. Benjamin, the so called West Indians. Levi, the so called Haitians. Simeon, the so called Dominicans. Zebulon, the so called Guatemalans, to the so called Panamanians. Ephraim, the so called Puerto Ricans. Manasseh, the so-called Cubans, Gad, the so-called North American Indians, Reuben, the so-called Seminole Indians, Natali, the so-called Argentinians, to the so-called Chileans, Asher, the so-called Colombians, to the so-called Uruguayans, Issachar, or the so-called Mexicans, all right, which have been scattered throughout the world in slavery. Now, I came across... A news article that's being passed around, and it was uh, ESPN talking about the Israelites because of some so-called Negroes that play football, all right, were telling the truth about the Israelites, and they got upset, so I wanted to do this video an edification of the body of Yahweh Shai, right, to you that believe. And I'm going to go to the video now, and we will play it, and I'll get scriptures to edify you. All right, this is the video, and here we go. Uh, uh, that's bad. No, no, it's not generally that that's bad, though it is. Because you can be mentioning it in another context and say, okay, that he didn't say anything offensive. In this case, it's the worst kind of bad. He's quoting falsely Hitler as though he's wise and speaking the truth about Jews. Stephen A., it's as bad as it gets. And here's the problem. The white citizens of America, he quotes, will be terrified to know all this time. They've been mistreating and discriminating and lynching the children of Israel. In other words, let me be very clear what this means. I'm from New York, as you are, Stephen A., I understand what he's what he thinks he's saying. There is bad information out there, um, especially on the streets, by the way, that claims that one of the conspiracy theories goes that white Jews are only claiming to be the children of Israel and intentionally keeping African Americans, black people, in the dark that they're in fact the real children of Israel, and and keeping the world in the dark about that because that way they can somehow control the world, the white Jews. And that here's what's critical, because he thinks, remember, Deshaun's saying, I was trying to educate my people, right? He's trying to e miseducate them. The white citizens of America, meaning the non-Jews, would be terrified to know all this time that they've been mistreating and discriminating and lynching the real children of Israel, meaning black people. In other words, the white Jews, like in the South, for example, who, the, the, sorry, the white people in the South, for example, who also hate Jews. So I'm talking about the ones who are lynching black people. The crimes they committed, they, they wouldn't have done it had it not been for the machinations of the, of the white Jews who's convinced them that, in fact, they're Jews and not the black people. Do you understand? It's, it's lunatic. All right. And the so-called Negroes are the tribe of Judah. All right. They are of the 12 tribes of Israel. The Israelites, the Hebrew Israelites, are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, which have been scattered throughout the world in slavery. And the wicked Jewish Edomites have been trying to remove our understanding of who we are so that they can rule the world, all right? which they do rule the world. All right? Once again... The Jewish owned the uh, football teams. They own Hollywood. They own the banks. They own music companies. They own everything. They own the slave ships that brought the so-called Negroes to America for the American Edomites. All right. 
This is Job 9, verse 24. Let me go ahead and jump to the photo so I can give you a, a picture to look at, which actually helps you understand. All right, it says in Job 9, verse 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, so the wicked rule the world. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? And how did he cover the faces of the judges thereof? He taught that everyone in the Bible looked like him, which in fact, the Edomites, the so-called Caucasians, their image as red people, all right, because Edom is Adawam in the Hebrew, which means red. They are not white. They are red, all right? Every one of these men have a white collar on their shirt, and as you can see, they don't blend in with their shirt. They're red, different shades of red. They are not white, all right? But they covered the images of the Dark Ages with their images, which is called iconalism. Okay? If and it says, if not, if not the so-called white man, where and who is he? So who set up the image of Caesar Boge, just like they set up the image of Serapis Cristo as Greek Edomites? Whose image have they covered with their image? All right, who, who else has done this if it ain't the so-called white man? Psalms 83 verse 1, a song or psalm of Asaph. Keep not thou silence, O power. Hold not thy peace and be not still, O power. Which he's not being still. And he's not holding his peace. Yahweh is our power. Because that's why this truth is being poured out upon all flesh. Let me grab Lamentations 4. Verse. Twenty-one, Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, the nation of the so-called Caucasians. That, dwell in, that dwelleth in the land of Uz, which is America, the cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and shalt make thyself naked. Which he's doing. This man in the video, all right, that's arguing for the Jewish Edomites, all right, Max Kellerner, Kellerman, all right, he's making himself naked. His, he's making his whole nation naked being on TV like this, talking about the Israelites. Because you can't do nothing against the truth, only for the truth. So this is just going to stir people up to go investigate and actually have more Israelites find the truth. All right? So they're going to make themselves naked. Lamentations 4 verse 22, the punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion, which we were put in slavery by these Edomites, all right, because of our sin against our power, Yahweh, but we have accomplished our punishment for our iniquity. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. So they're trying to bring a new captivity, a digital captivity, with the RFID microchip, the mark of the beast, okay? And the mark of the beast is the RFID microchip. And it will not be fulfilled. It will, it will fail. All right? It says, he will no more carry thee away into captivity. He will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins. So now Esau's on, under the microscope of Yahweh. All right, and their sins are being revealed as every day goes on, they're being revealed as the son of perdition, the devil the Bible speaks of, okay? And they're doing it to themselves, okay? This is Psalms 83, 
Verse 2, For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. This is evidence of that. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people, which they use Israelites against Israelites, which this man, Stephen A. Smith, is most likely an Israelite, but he's part of that two-third that's going to be left with the Edomites and perish with them because he rejects the truth. It says, and consulted against thy hidden ones. The hidden ones are the Israelites. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation, which we didn't know who we were. But we're coming back into remembrance through the Holy Spirit. And now Esau Edom, the so-called white man, is upset that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. This is why they're going to come down with great wrath, knowing their time is short, because we're coming into remembrance of who we are. Revelation 11, verse 11 and after three days and a half, the spirit of life of Yah from Yahweh entered into them. And they stood upon their feet, which he even said that we're in the streets prophesying. And, and he said it's lies, but in fact, it's truth. All right. If it's lies, why, why is so many people paying attention to it, calling it the truth? Because it is the truth. All right. Otherwise, Esau wouldn't be worried about it. Look at the Black Power movement or the Black Lives movement. Esau ain't worried about that. He's worried about you waking up, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, to that, to being that you're an Israelite in captivity, because oppression makes a wise man mad. All right. So it says. But two-thirds of the nation of Israel sold out, all right? Just like Stephen A. Smith and Deshaun Jackson, okay, they sell out. They want the money. They want the fame, all right? They want the gift that destroyeth their heart. It says, and they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them which saw them. And, and this man... Max, on the right, the Edomite, that claims to be a Jewish, he, he said he lived in New York City, and he knows that we're on the streets teaching our people that they are the Israelites. All right? Isaiah 57, verse 21, it says, There is no peace, saith my power, to the wicked. The so-called Caucasians are the wicked. All right, and they're losing their peace because we're waking up to who we are. It says, Isaiah 58, 1, Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people, the Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, their transgression, and the house of Jacob, their sins, all right? That's why they're losing their peace is because we're on the streets teaching our people righteousness. And it begins with the true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His Son, our Messiah, Yahweh Shai, all right? And that He came for the Israelites, which are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. So they have to come down with great wrath, knowing that they have but a short time, because they're being revealed as the son of perdition. Esau Edom, the so-called white man, is the son of perdition. He's going to suffer the greatest loss ever to be in history. All right. It says in Psalms 83, verse 4, they have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. That's why this dude's on TV right now uh, talking to Stephen A. Smith. He, he's saying, it's a lie. It's a lie. Because they don't want you to remember who you are. And they have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. And the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. Remember the movie Roots. 
when they whipped the name out of Kuta Kente and gave him the name Toby. They took the name of Israel from us. All right. And they put it upon themselves. And they're going to have to pay a great price for doing these things. It says in Isaiah 14, verse, verse 13, for thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven, the space force. I will exalt my throne above the stars of Yahweh. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation. They call themselves Jewish in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. Thinking they're going to fight the so-called UFOs, the chariots of Israel. I will be like the most high. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell, to the sides of the pit. All right. So you're going to go into slavery like it or not. This truth is not going to be stopped. Even if you shut the internet down, even if you lock the city down with your social distancing, with all these tactics that Esau has, nothing will stop this truth because this truth is going to be in the next kingdom, which is going to be with Israel and the kingdom belongs to Yahweh, which he's going to send Yahweh Shai, his son, our king of kings, and he's going to set up the kingdom of Israel here on earth and it's going to be in the land of Israel that's why in Matthew 24 Yahweh Shai said because you had the Edomites in the land of Israel claiming to be Israelites back then you had uh, Herod the Greek which his mother was a so called black woman so he was an Edomite after his father, but he looked like a so-called black man after his mother. But in fact, he was an Edomite, a Greek who claimed to be a Jew. Just like today, you got the Edomites claiming to be Jews. All right. And you saw how it turned out for them. So how much worse for this last generation? And I can show what's going to happen. Matthew 24, verse 1 and Yahweh Shai went out and departed from the temple, and his disciples came to him for to show him the buildings of the temple, talking about the land of Israel. And Yahweh Shai said unto them, See ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, There shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. So Israel, the land of Israel, before we return, it's going to be destroyed by nuclear destruction, ICBMs. World War III is going to be a nuclear war, and America and Israel are going to be nuked, okay? The difference is America will never come back. It's going to be a desert forever as a memorial to the power of Yahweh, and Israel is going to actually come back under the Israelites and we're going to have our slaves building it up. Isaiah 14 verse 1, For Yahweh will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. How did the Jewish get set up in that land? By the Belford Declaration, which was done by the Jewish bankers and the American politicians. All right. It says, and set them in their own land. So Yahweh is going to pick us up. Have Yahweh Shai pick us up in the so-called UFO and take us to our own land. We're not going to buy passports. We're not going to go ask for permission. Okay. Because we're going to go into that land after the Edomites that claim to be the Jewish are going to be destroyed in nuclear war, World War III. And the strangers shall be joined with him, the ones that don't know their Israelites, even like this man, Stephen A. Smith, okay, even though he may reject the truth and he's going to take the RFID microchip to try to get paid, 
All right. He's going to be destroyed in nuclear destruction, a true Holocaust. And then after the destruction, if he's an Israelite, he's going to return into the flesh through the elect by procreation. Okay, meaning we're going to be making babies in the kingdom. And the two third that die here are going to come back through the elect as sons and daughters in righteousness in the land of Israel. All right. And there's nothing these Edomites that claim to be Jewish or even the Americans could do to stop it. Nothing. In fact, everything they do is actually bringing it faster upon them. All right. I just saw Trump sending, uh, and really Trump's just uh, an actor. You know, America itself is sending helicopters to India. All right. Apache helicopters to India to fight China. Well, China is going to be one of the countries that shoot nukes at Israel and America. All right. Uh, because they're at war with pretty much America. Even the EU and NATO are going to be against America. Okay. It says, and the people shall take them and bring them to their place. The Israelites shall take these other nations and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of in the land of Yahweh, Israel, for servants and handmaids, and they shall take them captives, whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. So we shall rule over our oppressors, and the oppressor starts with Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, all right, and the other nations. It says in Psalms 83, verse... Five, for they have consulted together with one consent, meaning all these nations are against Israel. They are confederate against thee. The tabernacles of Edom, the so-called Caucasians, and the Ishmaelites, the so-called Arabs of Moab, talking about the Arabs in Saudi Arabia, and the Hagarnes, which is another form of Arab Gabal, another form of Edom, and Ammon, the Japanese, and Amalek, the Jewish Edomite, the Philistines with the inhabitants of Tyre, which is dealing with the Hamites, Asher, which goes back to Assyria, also is joined with them. They have hope in the children of Lot, or the sons of Lot, Selah, which is the Moabites, the so-called Chinese, and the Japanese, the so-called uh, so-called Japanese, the Ammonites. So all these nations are against the Israelites. Okay. Conspiracy, anti-Semitism, like classic anti-Semitism. That's what he thought. That is the message. What I just said is the message he thought he was educating. So what I need to know from Deshaun Jackson... All right, there's no real word of Semitism. It's fake. All right. Shem, which his name was Sham, all right, that's what it goes back to. Anti-Shemitic, all right. And Sham, the so-called Negroes came out of Sham, all right. We, we, we come from the lineage of Sham, so there's no way that a so-called Negro could be anti-Semitic or Shemitic, all right, when they are actually Shemitic, okay? Because we go back to Shem, Shem, all right? There's no such thing or no such name as Semitic. It's Shemitic. And the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians are Shemitic because they are the sons of Israel, That's nonsense. What did you mean by that? Why did you repost that? Not generally that he that he quoted Hitler or thought he did, but specifically what he quoted until he deals with the message itself. I can't accept the apology, though I'd like to. I'd like him to give me an explanation well, 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 that makes sense so I can say, got it. Well, I'm going to do something for you that I don't believe, honestly, that you do enough for me, if I'm being totally honest with you. 
and that is this. I'm going to defer to what you're saying when it comes to the Jewish community in terms of what... So that, that shows he's a reprobate. Stephen A. Smith is a Sambo, and he's going to be destroyed with Esau. All right? And this is Obadiah, verse 3. The pride of, thy, of thine heart hath deceived thee. And that shows that these Edomites are deceived because they think they deserve an apology. That's pride. When you put our people into slavery, you, you persecute our people, you oppress our people, and you rape our people, you know, you eat our people. All right. And he tries to say that the Americans in, um, in America are not Jewish Edomites. While Bill, Bill, uh, uh, Bill Clinton, his bloodline goes back to being a Jewish. Trump, he's, he goes back to being a German and he comes out of the straight place, the same place as Hitler. All right. So all these Edomites are the same. I don't give a fuck if they're South African Edomites or if they're American, North American Edomites or if they're South American Edomites or if they're, you know, wherever they are, they're Edomites, no matter what they claim to be, because they, they try to hide under all kinds of blasphemies, saying that they're white, saying that they're French, saying that they're British, saying that they're Roman, saying that they're Greek, saying that they're Spanish, saying that they're they're uh, uh, German, all right, saying that they're American. All those are lies. They are the Edomites, which Yahweh hates. All right, and it says in Obadiah 3, the pride of thine heart have deceived thee, thou that dwelleth in the cliffs of the rock, Caucasians, cave dwellers, whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, which they use the eagle in every empire they've had, including America, the great seal of America is the eagle, and it represents the body of their government, which is Edomites. And thou, and though thou set thy nest among the stars, the space force, thence will I bring thee down, saith Yahweh. It says, verse 10, for thy violence against thy brother Jacob, because originally Esau and Jacob were twin brothers. All right. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever, forever. Verse 15, for the day of Yahweh is near upon all the heathen, all these heathen, starting with Esau, all the way down to Moab. It says, for the day of Yahweh is near upon all the heathen, as thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon thine own head. So there is nothing that they could do to escape this judgment. Verse 19, I'll start at actually verse 20. It says, And the captivity of this host of the sons of Israel shall possess that of the Canaanites, the land of Israel, even unto Zarephath. And the captivity of Jerusalem, which is in Sephard, Sepharad, shall possess the cities of the south. And saviors shall come up out of Mount, come up on Mount Zion, the prophets of Israel that are in the streets telling the truth, to judge the Mount of Esau, because they're going to go into slavery. But right now we're bringing out the judgment that Yahweh has declared against Esau and it's going to be fulfilled because what we speak is prophecy through the word of Yahweh. And the prophecy is that Yahweh Shai is going to come and judge these Edomites and set us up in our own land. So we don't have to fight them physically, okay? Because you can't win Esau physically. He was blessed with the sword. He was blessed to have the ruling power right now on earth. All right, but there's going to come a time where he's cast down in the nuclear destruction and they're going to be put into captivity. Them that survived the nuclear destruction of America 
and the land of Israel. And the kingdom shall be Yahweh's, talking about the uh, kingdom of Israel, which is going to be set up by Yahweh Shai here on earth in the land of Israel. Even if you Jewish Edomites don't like it or the American Edomites don't like it, it don't matter. It's going to happen as it is written. Of how y'all choose to interpret what he's saying. Because I have no idea. Like, for example, everything that you just explained, you, pro you might be right. I don't know. Because I didn't understand what Deshaun Jackson was saying. And based on, what, uh, on how in-depth your explanation was, I find it hard to believe that he was thinking that in-depth. Because I think that if he were, he would choose to use some foreign other than Instagram or any social media page to just say it like that. I'm not, again, I'm not saying that you're wrong. I'm saying that your interpretation of it, as a Jewish person, you have every right, based off of what the subject matter is and what he had to say, to sit up there and say, excuse me, as a Jewish person, this is what I take him to me, which is why, to me, it's incredibly dangerous for him to do what he did. Because again, you didn't, you, you did not expound on it, meaning him, not you, Max, meaning him. He did not expound on it at all. He could have been sitting around talking with a bunch of his boys, all right, and they might have been expressing themselves. He might have vibed with what they were saying, and he might have decided to say something like that. I don't know because I did not ask him that, okay? I do not know. And then I'm going by his apology, the second apology, over social media. Even when he sat up there on video, Max, and explained it, it still came to cross as, as very convoluted. That's, that's why I can't go there. I can't go Let's where you're going. going. But as a Jewish person, I would tell you, you have every right. No. If the man is talking about no, Jewish folks in America, we disagree about you are that. Jewish folk in America, and you read it, you have, you have a right to say that. No, no, we, we disagree about this issue. It's not that I'm Jewish that I have a right to interpret what I'm seeing. I may be sensitive to classical kind of anti-Semitic tropes, um, but I am also sensitive, I hope, to, to those kind of to stereotypes about other people who have been marginalized or otherwise oppressed. What I'm saying I'm only is talking about there is no, like, there's word, only, what you saw. I understand, but w what else could be meant by this? What else could be meant by because, quoting Hitler, because the white Jews know that the Negroes are the real children of Israel and they keep America secret, the Jews will blackmail America. He's saying it's a Jewish conspiracy to keep black people down in America. And that the whites... And it is. It says in Revelation 2 verse 9, I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich because everything is ours, including the heathen. We're going to take them into slavery when Yahweh returns. And I know the blasphemy which is the lies of them which say they are Jews. They claim to be the Jewish Edomites. Well, they claim to be Jewish, but they're the Edomites. That's why it's blasphemy. They're lying. They're claiming to be white. They're claiming to be Jewish. They're, they're claiming to be the, the, the children of God, which is blasphemy. They are, in fact, Edomites. It says, and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not but are the synagogue of Satan. Esau Edom, the so-called white man that claims to be Jewish, is the synagogue of Satan. Citizens, meaning the non-Jews of America, will be terrified to know that all this time they've been mistreating and discriminating and lynching the children of Israel, meaning the real Jews, meaning black people, that the white Jews want to keep a secret or the lynchings wouldn't happen, meaning the Jews are responsible for the lynchings and the actual bad people, the white people who've committed the lynchings, oh, we wouldn't have done it had we not known it's the Jews' fault. What else? What other hey, 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 could you based, from based on based yeah. Based on what you Jewish, read, you're right. That, but read. then, if, but then, if you get on yeah. the phone with him, but then if you get on the phone with him and he's saying, "Nah, I was just trying to uplift our people because we constantly get knocked down," and I was telling folks, "Listen, no matter how people have tried to knock us down and keep us down, we keep rising. These are difficult times right now, but we're going to keep rising." But that's not what you read. That's not what I deduced from what you read. Right. But when I actually spoke to him. He said that. 
not what you just read. So uh, that's what I'm talking about. I'm saying, excuse me, when you decipher in his words what you read and you break it down that way, absolutely you have a right to do that. But when you... And you see what these two-thirds do? Because they want to get paid, all right? They're, they're, they're weakening themselves for Esau's pleasure so that they could receive a paycheck. All right, these are the same two-thirds that are going to take the RFID microchip, the mark of the beast, and be destroyed with it. This is Matthew 16, verse 26. For what is a man profited if he shall gain the wor whole world and lose his own soul? That's what this man is doing right now. This uh, uh, Stephen A. Smith, all right, the man on the left side of the screen, the so-called black man, all right, He's rejecting the truth for the sake of a paycheck. Just like Deshaun Jackson, he said he knew the truth, but what's he do? He backbites it because the Jewish Edomites that own his team, the Philadelphia Eagles, all right, they 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 condemned him. And what did he do? He 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 apologized for it. So these these two thirds trying to gain the whole world are going to lose their own soul. It says, and lose his own soul. Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? See? And they're going to make him to give that RFID microchip in exchange for his soul. And if he's doing this for a check, oh, he, you better believe that he's going to take the RFID microchip. Just like Deshaun Jackson that plays for the Philadelphia Eagles, he's a two-third two. He's going to be destroyed because of the rejection of knowledge. All right. It says in Hosea 4 verse 6, it says, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because thou has rejected knowledge. They reject it openly. I will also reject thee that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou has forgotten the law of thy power. I will also forget thy sons. So he's going to destroy these men that reject the truth and their children. All right. And that's biblical prophecy. Talk to him. He's a contrite. He's apologetic. And that's he's like, okay. no, nah, I didn't mean that. Here's what I was saying. What am I supposed to do? I always like to give. I always like to give people the benefit of the doubt. And that goes for incidents when, like, Incognito's story first broke. I thought, well, maybe there's an explanation here. Let's dig deeper and see what he's really about, right? Same thing here. Dig deeper, see what Deshaun's really about. When people talk about what should the punishment be, I think the NFL should arrange some kind of community outreach that he's involved in, right? Um, and so, so he can educate himself. But I would say, at best, this serves as a kind of um, warning that when people, particularly in positions of influence, behave irresponsibly, when they try to educate people about, about, things, about things about which they themselves are ignorant and don't have a good grasp on, it's dangerous. That's the best thing that could be said because, because he highlighted something that he thought Hitler said about Jews and put it out there. It wasn't primarily about black people, Stephen A., now, if Deshaun's primary message is to up him, and me. he says, I have no hatred in my heart, I'm willing to believe that. I, I hope it's true. I like Deshaun when I've dealt with him. Um, I think he's a fantastic player when he's on the field. What I, all I'm saying right here is what he has had said so far, I need to hear more from him. And see, this shows who has the power to stop you from receiving a paycheck or getting a paycheck. All right? Because Deshaun Jackson, when he made this statement, who told him he fucked up? The Jewish owners of the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, this man, Max Kellerman, all right, he's saying he wants him fired unless he gets to hear more of an apology from him. So that shows who controls the world and wickedness. And also, as well, who has power to bring this beast system into life. It's Esau Edom. It says in Revelation 13, verse 16, and he, the so-called white men, starting with the Jewish Edomites, causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. 
and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark. All right. So just like now, they're saying, you know, they, they could possibly fire this Deshaun Jackson for speaking out. All right. And and so in the same way, these Jewish Edomites are going to use the American Edomites to bring out that chip, the RFID microchip, the mark of the beast. And they're going to say, hey, you don't take the chip. You're going to you're going to not going to eat. Or in fact, they're going to try to cut your fucking head off. OK, so it shows who has the power in the world to do these things right now. It's Esau Edom, the so-called white man that rules the world in wickedness. And you okay. need to hear more. Let, let me, and then my response and then my response to that, I want to do it, but I'm more excited. I, I should say excited. I'm more interested in getting into Stephen Jackson, which is where we're going next, Molly, because based off of what Deshaun Jackson said mm -hmm. and what Stephen Jackson followed up saying, there's a huge, huge problem with that as well. And that's where we're going next. So I just read a statement that the Philadelphia Eagles posted regarding Deshaun Jackson's comments. He was trying to educate himself, educate people, and he's speaking the truth, right? He's speaking the truth. You know he didn't hate anybody, but he's speaking the truth. The fact that he knows and he tries to educate others, but y'all don't want us to educate ourselves. The NBA champion Stephen Jackson has been a voice for racial inequality. Which we just read, Psalms 83. They don't want the name of Israel to be in remembrance anymore. All right? And let me just point out, all right, you got Deshaun Jackson and you got Steven Jackson, all right? The last name Jackson actually means Jacob's son. Jack goes to Jake, Jacob, which his name was changed to Israel. So literally these two so-called Negroes, all right, which are most likely of the tribe of Judah, all right, their name Jackson literally goes back to being the sons of Israel. All right, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians are the biblical Hebrew Israelites. An exceptional job on this last segment, and I appreciate the dialogue that we are able to have here on First Take, and that we don't shy away from these issues. Stephen A., you're up first. What's your reaction to Stephen Jackson kind of doubling down on Deshaun Jackson's comments? Over the last few weeks, the most difficult subject I've had to broach is, is anything regarding Stephen Jackson. Why? Because I'm very, very fond of him. I got love for him. He's, he's a real brother, true and authentic to his core. But I can tell you this. When we sit up there, a lot of people in the black community respect the Jewish community because the perception of y'all being together and coming together and galvanizing to address certain issues is what we believe as a community we should do a better job of. But who is that against? It's against white folks in positions of power that have exercised racial oppression, racial inequality, and things of that nature. If you're Stephen Jackson, if you are... See, and this is why two-thirds of the nation of Israel have to be destroyed because of their willful ignorance all right the so-called white people in the position of the highest power on earth are the jewish edomites that control the banking systems all right and this is why two-thirds have to be cut off and left to die in the nuclear destruction because these are the two-thirds that are going to take the rfid microchip the mark of the beast it says in Zechariah 13, it says in verse 8, And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith Yahweh, two parts of Israel therein shall be cut off and die, because they're not going to be picked up. They're going to be left behind to suffer the nuclear destruction of America but the third shall be left therein, meaning we're going to be protected. 
and I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name and I will hear them. I will say it is my people, which are the Israelites, and they shall say, Yahweh is my power. And two thirds of the nation of Israel reject Yahweh by rejecting the truth, which is Yahweh Shai, and in rejecting in rejection of Yahweh Shai, they're being rejected and their sons, and they're going to be left behind. Jackson validating it through his eyes and through his lens and we're talking about that instead of what Stephen Jackson himself has said he wants us to focus on and so now as a result what are we going to be talking about we talk about Adolf Hitler we're going to be talking about being educated about the Holocaust and the Jewish community and Jewish history we're going to be talking about those things instead of issues that directly and, and involve us as black people. I'm sure that wasn't Steven Jackson's goal. I'm sure that wasn't Deshaun Jackson's goal. But it happened. And now, why? Uh, I mean, if another. We're going to sit up here and talk if about another, that instead of these other things. If another community that has experienced oppression or marginalization or discrimination in various. Let me grab this verse. Well, that two third was speaking, Smith. All right, the scripture came to, came into mind by the power of Yahweh through Yahweh Shai. Second Peter chapter two verse one. But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, who privately shall bring in damnable heresies, even even denying the Lord that brought that bought them. And bring upon themselves swift destruction. This man Smith is bringing great judgment and swift destruction upon himself and upon his whole people, as his family. You know, it said Yahweh is going to destroy him, his wife, his children, and many shall follow their pernicious ways. All right, this guy is on live TV. All right, he's getting many views. All right. About what he says, a lot of people are following their pernicious ways by reason of whom the truth, the way of tr the, tr the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. And that's what Stephen A. Smith, the host of this show, is doing. He's speaking evil of the way of the truth. So he's bringing swift destruction upon him and his whole entire house. shown upon the plight of Native Americans or the history of oppression of Jewish people. That's okay. That we can take some time out and say from focusing on African Americans who are, I mean, this the, the, the story of this country cannot be told without talking about our original sin as a country, which is the way European Americans treated African Americans and Native Americans. But particularly what, what has been the focus recently is African Americans. And they treated us that way because we are the Israelites. In the book of Columbus, Four Voyages, he it tells you that he was looking for the the elusive Jerusalem dealing with the Israelites, and he brought Hebrew translators to what you know as um, uh, Cuba. He never touched America, but other Edomites came, like Cortez and other Edomites. But Columbus, all right. His first four voyages, or his only four, four voyages, when he came to the Caribbean, all right, he was looking for the Israelites. He brought Hebrew translator, which are Israelites, just like this two-third that hosts this show, all right? Back then, you had two-thirds doing the same thing, lying to our people, all right? And these two-third are reincarnated to be destroyed. This country's history. However, if the, the, the attention is diverted 
for a moment to say that, you know, by the way, uh, women or gay people or, or um, Jews or some other group, th this has also been their experience and ta because tangentially it's related somehow. That's okay. And here we come to the classical kind of anti-Semitic issue, which is that Jews are scapegoated. And here Jews are a convenient scapegoat and Sean Jackson's um, social media post that he thought was from Adolf Hitler was scapegoating Jews and, and, and not in a true way at all. Like, Hitler was a fake Jew himself, okay? And there was no such thing as a Holocaust. The word Holocaust actually means nuclear fire, a holy fire, which is coming. But during the time of Hitler, there was no Holocaust. Look it up. Look up the word Holocaust and tell me when has it happened to the Jewish Edomites. Never. It's going to happen, but it has not happened. Hitler himself was trying to save his people from the plague of typhus, which came from their filthy ways, and they had lice. Okay? Esau Edom, you could read many books of Edomites telling on themselves. Thirteen tribe. All right? They tell you that these Edomites that claimed to be Jewish were originally calling themselves Khazars. All right? And they were filthy people. This shows that these Edomites do not believe in the Bible, that they claim that they, they claim to be the people of the Bible, but they don't believe in the Bible. See? Because really it doesn't pertain to them. It pertains to the Israelites, the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, which have been scattered throughout the world in slavery. Alright? And this is what the future of Esau is. Isaiah 14, verse 21, prepare slaughter for his sons for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise nor possess the land nor fill the face of the whole world with cities. For I will rise against, rise up against them, and that's what's happening right now, saith Yahweh of hosts, and cut off from Babylon, which is America, the name and remnant of and son and nephew, saith Yahweh, and he's going to do that by the nuclear destruction, all right? They are not the real Jews, all right? Esau Edom, the so-called white man, is an abomination, all right? The true Jews, the real Jews, are the so-called Negroes. See, because they don't believe in the Bible, 
All right, that 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 shows it right there, that they are not the people of the Bible. Let me see. Ezekiel 28, no, not Ezekiel 28. Isaiah 28, verse, I'll start at verse 9. Whom shall he teach knowledge and whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast. For precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little and there a little. All right? So that's how Yahweh's word is to be read. It's precept upon precept, precept upon precept. Line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little. All right. Now it says, Whom shall you teach knowledge? All right. It tells you in Isaiah 53, the reason they don't want to believe is because Yahweh Shai is a stumbling block. Yahweh Shai, the true Messiah that is told about in the Bible, all right, is described as a so called Negro. It says in Isaiah 53, 1, who have believed our report, all right? And them that don't believe, they really don't matter. It don't make no difference whether you believe or not, all right? But them that do believe, all right, Yahweh is revealed to you. Yahweh Shai is the, is the image of Yahweh because he is the son of Yahweh, all right? And just like my own son is spitting image of me, Yahweh Shai is the spitting image of of Yahweh, literally, same image, okay, so who had believed our report, who believes the prophets, and to whom is the arm of Yahweh revealed, which the truth is Yahweh Shai, he is the truth, the way, and life, that's why these two-thirds have no hope.